Now you can create strips manually simply by using the plus in the toolbar and then you could navigate to the correct position in each strip manually but that would really be quite tedious. It's much easier if you can generate your strips automatically. So one possibility is that you select uh, a number of peaks in a base spectrum for instance and then you can just right click and go to make strip plot or type SP for short. Then select the spectrum display that you want to show your strips in and go to use peak selection. And here we now have our strips and you can see that at the top each strip has got a little header which shows which peak that strip has been derived from. An alternative if you have a table which contains NMR residues and there are a number of such tables in various different modules in the program then you can select um, any number of NMR residues in that table and again either type SP for short or go to spectrum make strip plot select your display and then go to use NMR residue selection this time and now my strip plot uh, contains again the strips belonging to those NMR residues which are then given in the header at the top here. You can also make a strip plot directly from a whole NMR chain. So here I'm going to uh, select chain A which has some assignments in it and now I've got uh, strips for the whole of the NMR chain and you can see again the NMR residues uh, are given at the top of the strips. The final option for automatic creation of strips uh, you won't need to be used very often. This can occasionally be useful though if you are navigating from a um, homonuclear spectrum. So in this case I've got as my base spectrum a carbon-carbon spectrum and I'm trying to create strips in my NCACX spectra. If I select these and simply go to use peak selection then I will find that my strips have been created with the C beta chemical shifts um, in the Z dimension along what is of course actually the C alpha axis. So obviously I can't find any peaks in these strips. However, if instead I go to use NMR atoms from peak selection, then I will find that uh, the C alpha axis in the Z dimension has indeed gone to the C alpha chemical shifts and now I can indeed find some peaks that correlate nicely with these carbon-carbon peaks.